a new flag across a new sea And if I'm ever the one in your way Then put your head down and run right through me Let's get one thing straight right off the bat I'm not here because I want to be TV champion I didn't ask for this You didn't ask for this the only reason I'm facing you right now is because you drove your original opponent away. And not in a good way. Now, I understand it's easy to get carried away when your head's full of ideas. Hell, my brain is ticking 24-7. But I also understand that you need to show your opponent some respect at all times. Especially someone like a demon S. Now, luckily, Dan, I respect you. But I would be remiss if I said the concept of being television champion for the first time wasn't appealing. After all, I've made plenty of history on this show. I didn't ask to be the first world champion, but it happened. I didn't ask for the shift, but it happened. And both of those events were beneficial to this brand. Look at what we've achieved in the last eight years, but especially in the last three years. Look at all the memories we've already made with the World Championship. Now, the reason I stepped up when the Demoness stepped down was this whole concept of bringing back judges. Something that caused nothing but chaos last time. Because you see, I'm not afraid to be judged. I've been judged Vindicated and validated since day one. I've been under a microscope from the first time I picked up a microphone. If anyone knows what it's like to be judged by others, it's me. So if you make me your TV champion tonight, I vow to make some changes to this championship. Because we need to separate the TV title from the world title, which right now appear to be defended in the same manner. If. I become TV champion, I say we keep the world title exactly how it is, specializing in cinematic matches, but we make the TV title the workhorse belt. No special effects, no gimmicks, no camera cuts, we keep it exactly like this, a shoot promo in one take. And let's say the winner of TV title matches after tonight is the person who stays closest to five minutes. But that only happens if you make me your TV champion. And this is the last time we ever have a judging panel. Hey Mike, how you doing? So bring your judges. Bring Mike. Bring Rob. Bring the 82nd Airborne for all I care. Bring the bearded bald guy that still so desperately craves my attention for all I give a fuck. This isn't about me. This is about match wrestling. This is about doing what's right. So like I said, judge me. Excuse me if I'm not as excited as I should be. This was not my original plan. That's for damn sure. And that was my own fucking problem, my own fucking fault. And I own up to that. I have addressed that privately. And this is where that will stay private. Initially, I wasn't going to do this. I was just going to hand the title over, say, do with it whatever you will. But, 
show needs to go on. And yeah, I've been debating a little bit now what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through with it. Am I just not going to do it? Am I just going to just say, you know, fuck it, whatever. Watch it all burn. That leads us here. Initially, I thought I was cashing in for a spot in the main event of night two. Because let's be real, that's the real main event. But, see, I got robbed of that. I got robbed of that. Instead of putting this match on last, which is what I cashed in on, I got bumped to night one. But fuck it, whatever. Really don't care. Really don't care one bit. So let's think about what brought us here. I won money Iron in the Bank last year. The Iron in the Bank briefcase or whatever you want to call it, contract. I really couldn't give two shits. Did it for something to do. Didn't need it. I was content. And I thought, hey, why not compete against the absolute best? And I got excited. I got overexcited, and I did things that I shouldn't have done. Acted in a way that is not who I am. But, you know, some things you can't take back, and that's, fuck it, it is what it is. Having said that, there's a couple things that I feel need to get said. Initially, had I lost, that was going to be it. You know, and I fully expected it. Didn't expect to win, but, you know, whatever. Brings me here. This will be my last promo ever. You know, I I am fully intending to be done this time. You know, I've done everything I have set out to do. Having said that, I had wanted so much to have a title here that would be contested under old school rules. Rules in which old school promos must be a winner, must be a loser, no cinematic fucking bullshit. If you like that, cool. Good for you. I fucking don't. This overplayed and not good. It's just uh, the same old thing. What happened to old school promos? Two guys, two people, do whatever you want. Just shooting a promo. What happened to that? That was good. What happened to the days when you had absolute heavy hitters. What happened? What happened to the old school days when they actually had meat, actual substance? I don't I don't feel I see it here. And I have the utmost respect for what the captain has put together. You know, he's put together an amazing, truly amazing thing here. And I thought, try and bring back the old school. But hey, that was the past. And can't keep living in the past. So, where do we go from here? 
we let the past be where it is. We're fucking dead and buried. So you want to continue to do your cinematic bullshit on the same old format over and 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 over again? Cool. Do it. Fuck it. I don't care. I have done everything I've set out to do. I started shooting on things because I didn't care. I never needed any fucking gimmicks. I never needed any fucking, you know, filters. I never needed to be anybody but me. I never needed any masks, any names. I never needed any, you know, gimmicks. Respect to the individuals who have done that. Walker, El Jefe, whoever. That works for you, do it. I never needed it. But whatever. If that's what you want to do, do it. I have no need to do it. Eh. Been there, done that. But as for this... Fuck it. Have at it. Again. Captain. Whatever. You're doing. Want it? It's yours. Do with it what you will. Put it up in another... Cinematic promo. But I got a feeling old school ways are not gone. Because why is it? I will leave you at this point to ponder. Why is it that so many people tune in to see the old school? Anytime you see an old school night on Raw or SmackDown or whatever, much as you may say you hate it, people still tune in for it. People still want the old school way. And it works. But hey. It is what it is. Had fun while it lasted. But sometimes you just gotta know when to say goodbye and good night. Bang.